Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about fetch versus XML HTTP request. So I mean this is a random question and what I will say is earlier we were using XML HTTP request known as AJAX. Now we are using fetch which is native to the browser. We don't need any additional library to use for it. So it's all about necessity is a mother of all invention. Earlier we were fine with XHR then it's all messed up by writing the SHR or AJAX request then we have like okay let's have a use XGOs or something else then let's find out let's create some native to the browser so fetch is the answer okay so XML HTTP request is way old there we were actually creating XML HTTP request object and then we were just sending the request using xhr.open xhr.send uh, typically the examples somewhat look like this Okay, so in this example, we just have a success and error callback and we are making this request. But nowadays we have a lot of complexity with the headers, authorization methods while making a request, right? In that case, fetch is something which is native to the browser supported by almost every browser now. And we can actually use fetch interface, fetch API interface to make a request. So fetch is also a kind of a simple uh, when we talk about the fetch so if we just talk about simple function how to just write it and we can actually return it return the data whatever we are getting Return, or we can actually return a promise which is the rejection for now this is fine okay so here we have a URL and that is we are resolving the promise and we are returning it okay so in the the response object so whenever the promise is resolved we got the response object since uh, what what in what we have to do additionally in the fetch API is we have to call the dot JSON method to get the response okay this is additionally we have to do the response dot JSON object okay so that object returns a promise so we have to chain it with dot then this again returns a promise so we can actually get the data finally and we can return this okay now we got finally data here so this is how it works so this is a simple fetch api example you have to pass uh, the request in and fetch takes two argument which is uh, input request info if we talk about and it is returning a promise of response so you can do a dot then you can write a sync await like you can also write a sync await here response equal to await here we can actually make it a so in the a simple fetch request we are just passing the url and we are able to get the data what if sometimes you wanted to pass the custom headers in that case uh, in javascript what we do is and we can append headers dot append i think headers dot append all the things like the content type you wanted to set okay and this you can pass like uh, you can just uh, pass this headers value let's create an object request object and here you have a method method is of type get okay and the headers this is another argument and we will pass the header which we have created which is this and while doing a fetch call right so here we are now passing the custom headers request object method is get and headers we have a content type here you can set whatever headers you wanted to add like authorization which contains some token uh, we should be able to okay this one, okay yeah now here it is request info and the request in it in the request in it you can see uh, you can actually pass the body cache i can look into you okay body cache credentials headers so this is what we are passing right 
so body and uh, there should be a method mode refer window all the possible options which we just pass with the exus or any other credentials cache so that is your request init object okay so this is pretty much about uh, what is uh, fetch what is xml http request how to write fetch with the simple promises or how to write fetch with async await and how to pass the custom headers while using a simple fetch call okay uh, thanks everyone